Hi guys, Dr. Garda with Backbone Wellness right here in Cincinnati. Okay, so we're gonna start with, you know, most of us, we don't even think about our health until it starts to fail, right? Like, have you ever been to the emergency room before? So if you have, you know what I'm talking about, right? It can be one of the worst days of your life and it's not where you wanna be making your healthcare decisions. So what we're gonna be talking about today is really better to be proactive, right? But over the years, you know, what we've seen is when your heart health starts to fail you, you know, it's straight to the medications, right? You know, we have a, a day quill, we have a night quill, you know, we're going to have a social media quill for uh, videos just like this, right? Because that's our health, right? You know, it, it, it's kind of kooky, right? You know, if you consider, you know, if you go to your friend's house and you go into the bathroom, over the bathroom sink, there is a mirrored cabinet. You know, what do we call that mirrored cabinet? It is the medicine cabinet, right? We even have a name for it. So it, it's, it is pretty weird. So what we're talking about is, you know, for example, we've helped hundreds of people over the years with headache problems, you know, and many headaches can come from a misalignment of the top bone in your neck. A lot of people don't know that, you know, it normally, that top bone in your neck should take off at a 29 degree angle, like taking off like an airplane. Now, if there's a misalignment, it starts to put pressure on that brainstem, you know, that is a mechanical problem. Something's out of place, it's a mechanical problem. Now, if you take medication, that is a chemical solution. Now, you cannot solve a mechanical problem with a chemical solution. Does that make sense? But, you know, people will try to get through their life. They will self-medicate. You know, they have to work. They have to take care of their family. So, you know, they take Tylenol. They'll take two in the morning. They'll take two in the afternoon. So that's four Tylenol a day, 28 Tylenol a week, 120 a month. What is the lifetime safe dosage for Tylenol? You know, what does the FDA say about Tylenol and liver failure? You know, if you are hearing my voice right now, you are connected to the internet and you need to do your research because it's really harming people. You know, it's the same thing with herniated or bulging discs or sciatica. You know, that is a mechanical breakdown of the lower spine, you know, that supports all of your weight and that damages your sciatic nerve. So did this occur because you don't have enough oxycodone in your bloodstream? You know, does a chemical solution fix a mechanical problem or do we need to introduce healthy motion to these motor units so that they stop wearing and tearing and allows your body to heal itself? You know, guys, the jury is in, you know, especially for lower back pain. You know, when we get hurt, you know, it's kind of too late to be proactive. So we get scared. And I mean, we have to work. We have to support our families and we don't know what to do. So what do we do? I want to invite you to go to the video section of our Facebook page, Backbone Cincy, and try out. We have great pain relieving exercises, or you know, if you just had it, if you'd like some help, you know, you can give me a call, message me, and we can see what's going on. If I think that there's something I can help you with, I'll tell you, and if we can't help you, we'll tell you that too. Okay, thanks, guys.